Hi, everyone. This is Spring again from IBM ECM level to support him in aggregate. Continue with the series. Uh, in the part five, I will show you uh, how to prepare LDAP and DB server. And also, uh, we will, I will simply go through the CR YAML. Okay. Uh, first, uh, at first point, uh, similarly, I uh, in the AirTap install for CP4BA, I also publish a uh, a um, pop video uh, for that. I mean, for how to prepare LDAP server and DB server using the Ansible script. You can refer the link I attached in the slide, and uh, then you can have a clear picture for how to uh, implement that via Ansible script. Okay, then uh, next we will go through, uh, mainly go through the CRM. Okay. It is also from the container sample. That archive, actually, you can see that uh, template. I mean, the uh, the same naming, uh, IBM and it's called IPNCM and it's called CR and it's called <coughs> production. And it's called FC and it's called content dot YAML. Okay, <coughs> you can see the for standalone actually is quite simple for, for that levels, okay. You can see the release uh, 559, okay. And then we go to the specs. Okay, in the share, mm, okay. First, the lessons we need to select to choose. And then <coughs> we, could, we can see the uh, optional components like CMS, you know, CS, CMS and set post will not install, uh, will, will not install the CMS. And for the CSS, we set, set two. That means we need to install CSS. And the external share and task manager are set to false. Okay, in the share configuration, okay, here the IBM pool secrets, we put IBM in tournament key, okay. This is the key we just set, okay. And also the image repository, we point it to the local registry, okay, and also some uh, the secret for the secret trust all. Actually, I will go uh, back. The, I will go back that later uh, for the ingress, okay, uh, the certificate. And here you can see some, okay, and also for the uh, deployment platform, as we use uh, the Kubernetes. So here we choose others for CNCF, okay. And here the ingress and the uh, enable is only for uh, our case, so you don't need to set that as true, even you are using ingress for Kubernetes, okay. And also uh, the the main point I, I need to highlight is this one. Uh, I also mentioned that before, uh, be noted. Actually, it's an SC and it's called drivers and it's called URLs. And here is uh, also like a, a Docker, okay, like a like a, a, a pope, uh, pope man. Remember we, that we're using a pope man to run a pod uh, named uh, HTTP server. Uh, but actually, the host name is also follow that host name. So actually, we can use that to get the GDBCD to accept GDBCD without breacher. Okay. And also, here is uh, for the initialization. Okay. Content initialization is all set to uh, verification set for false. Okay. For the Okay, for the remain one, actually, is uh, for the LDAP configuration. And actually, you can see here is a uh, tablet. Okay, should be the tablet. Yeah, IBM Security Directory Server. And also some, all those settings for TDS. Okay, and uh, here uh, we just go down to the main part for the ECM configuration. Okay. And for the secret, it should be the IBM uh, 
the default secret IBM dash hyphen CM dash secret. And also for the reports, just hold on. You can see here the image should be some a local registry slash the namespace slash CP. Yeah. And also the tag is a GA dash 559 dash P8 CP. Okay. And for other, it should be similar. And, and for CSS, it's also similar. Okay, for the repository. And also the tag is for the version GE-559-PACSS. And also for the GraphQL. And also for the external share, we, we will not use. And also for, just for, for the, I see it. Okay, here is a navigator configuration. We go to check the image. Image should be reported, should be seen. And also the tag is also ICM version GA-3012-ICM. Dash, uh, okay. And also for the, you can, you also noted the replica right here. Uh, the replica is one, but for the CPE, uh, replicon is two. Then that means we have two, we need to provision two CP port, posts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For the CSS, it's also two. And uh, for the CSS, also two. And also the CPE replicon curves. We have the count here is set one, but previously I set that to two. Uh, okay. Of all this down, actually, you can go back to the uh, generate secret, like iPhone CM operator uh, secret. And also, uh, iPhone CM secret and also the uh, ISIN secret. Okay. Uh, in this, also reference in the CRL. Okay. And then uh, we create those secrets using kubectl, and then we will uh, use the CR, use the CR to apply that CR. You can see apply that CR uh, to start to, to start deploy a finite uh, cluster container. Okay, standalone uh, container. Okay. Then up all this down, we will go to the master node. You will see here actually is a uh, kubectl get post. You can see uh, two CP pole is running and also this one CSS, GraphQL, and as a navigator uh, operator and also the NFS client provisioner. You can see we have some minimal footprint here. We only have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We only have seven poles running, up running, okay, in the FileNet cluster, in the Kubernetes cluster, okay. You can see the overview and memory, okay. Uh, you can see actually we get minimal footprint footprint for this. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, that's it for this part. Thanks for watching.